So regarding the mod issues that have been happening recently, I did say that I would release a more permanent fix when one becomes available. Now these next two methods that I'm about to show, I wouldn't call permanent, but I'd call semi-permanent. So without further ado, the first method requires this line of text. This will be in the description down below. So just copy it, open up notepad, paste it in. And then what you want to do is find your data path. So by doing that, just go to Origin Games, Battlefront 2, Mod Data, click once up there, copy. Then where that hyphen is there, you just want to paste that in. I'll get rid of the hyphen and that's what it's meant to look like. No spaces, nothing, no apostrophe, you just leave it as that. Now what you want to do is copy that whole line of text now completed. You can save this onto your desktop just in case, but for now, that's all you need with that. Then you want to open up cmd.exe. This will come up. Right click once. That will paste in that. And then just hit enter. You should have Origin and Epic Games running in the bottom before you click enter. I haven't done that though because this method does not work for me. So this is why I say this semi-permanent. And also because it's not an official fix, it won't work for everyone. But I know enough people have reported that this works. So feel free to try this. As this method doesn't work for me personally, I can't really test if there's any issues or what happens when you restart your computer. But I believe it works as it should without having to make any adjustments until you change or modify your mods. When you do that, you'll have to launch through Frosty and you may have to do the cmd.exe. Obviously a bit of trial and error on your side and you'll figure it out. But if it doesn't work for you, it either means you've done something wrong or it just doesn't work for you. Like I say, this method for some reason just doesn't work on my computer. You can update Origin as well if you do follow one of these methods, just so you know that. Right, so the second method is to download a little application. I'll leave the link in the description below. Also, this is the founder of these two fixes. That'll be the founder, some written instructions as well. And there's a little discussion thread underneath. So if there's any sort of issues, they'll be on there. So anyway, you want to click on the link and it will download this. So simply, you just want to go into properties. And you just want to click security unblock because it apparently comes up as a virus but it's not i've even had some people saying there's key loggers in the last download file that i've produced off a i believe it was a media file however i did actually ask for any proof and if there was i'd take the video down as obviously we don't want that to be happening but it's just simply it seems like discord mods have said it as they oppose to the fix and obviously recommend more official fixes so same again with this i haven't experienced any issues i have i have malware bytes installed windows defender is on this does come up as a, a scanned virus but it's just an unrecognized piece of software and that's why it catches it malware bytes doesn't pop up with anything but windows defender does so just hit apply okay double click into it it's going to open up origin press any key to continue so just enter and there you go as you can see it loads straight into battlefront 2 if you do change mods using this method what you have to do is open frosty obviously install your new mods carry them over sort them out or you need to be sorting them out then click launch via frosty's app the game will not launch with their mods but once frosty has done its thing and applied the mods what you can do then is exit out of frosty exit out of whatever version of battlefront 2 it opened then open from this application and the mods that you have then applied will be installed just quickly as well i want to say about the most common issues that i'm seeing popping up and that's to do with the mod data file if you do not have this you've done something wrong it's as simple as that so what you want to really do is just go into frosty go into your battlefront and launch via this some messing around will just make it pop up from time to time but if it's not there you've done something wrong you haven't done one of the steps in the previous videos and it is your fault because there's no actual problems with frosty and the mod data it's just people aren't following the steps correctly so if that's your issue just go back watch the videos follow it very closely and it will work 
Just an update on the old method as well about the installing the old version of Origin. This still works. You can still use the old version of Origin if you want. I will still be using the old version of Origin. As although it is a less permanent fix, this fix here with this application i don't personally trust not because of the virus not because of anything like that because it sort of modifies the game in a way that could be deemed wrong um, from origins perspective whether or not that result in a ban i don't know i'm not going to risk it though it's up to you with the first fix that i showed you i think that one is safe obviously i'm not going to say it is just in case because I'd like to say I can't test it because for me it doesn't work but just be careful with these I'm going to continue using the old version because to me it's the most official way in terms of it's an official firmware so at least it's not raising any red flags and from the looks of it origin aren't going to be fixing this themselves so it's down to the modding community to find a very good permanent fix or down to frosty mod manager maybe updating their app with a new workaround Anyway, hope it helped. Any reoccurring questions will be hearted, so check the comments before you comment. So, I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.